you're hitting the roads right now. It's looking pretty good out there. It is colder this morning, so make sure you dress warm, but we are gonna warm up this afternoon, all thanks to this ridge of high pressure that will bring us another gorgeous day before the clouds start to roll in on Friday, and then of course that winter storm moves in on Saturday. Seven o'clock in the evening, partly mostly cloudy skies Friday, and then as you can see, Saturday morning we'll be waking up to clear skies, but Saturday night into Sunday morning is when all those changes will arrive. There is that cold front that appears to arrive late Saturday Saturday into Sunday. So here's our future track computer model. Thursday, one o'clock, we're seeing lots of sunshine. So again, it's gonna be a gorgeous day today. Clouds will be on the increase on Friday. I just wanted to give you a tighter view here, different perspective. Five o'clock Saturday, still not tracking any rain, but then by seven o'clock Sunday morning, that's when we'll start to notice some changes. Now, the runner's marathon will start at seven o'clock. This latest model, not showing any rain at that time, but at 11 o'clock across Doniana County, El Paso County, light rain is what we'll start to see then some snow early Monday morning this model showing areas east accumulating most of the snowfall doesn't mean that other locations won't but that's just what this latest model is showing so an hour by look at the runners marathon this is on Sunday keep in mind Friday and Saturday the events the weather will be great seven o'clock or at 44 degrees it will feel like 37 so you'll need to be dressed warm nine o'clock breezy it'll feel like it's 40 degrees and then by 11 o'clock around that time future track computer model did show that we could be seeing some rain roll in around that time 10 o'clock Sunday evening into Monday morning. This model does show we've got some accumulation rainfall for El Paso and Las Cruces and about half an inch of rain on cloud crop. So that's our rain snow model showing 10 inches of snow over Ruidoso. This is at 11 o'clock in the morning, three inches for Las Cruces. And this model only showing light snow for us here in El Paso, light snow, Guadalupe Pass and Sierra Blanca, Van Horn as well. Do keep in mind with the rain snow mixture and the temperatures dropping, that could cause some issues on the roadways. So I do think Monday morning, late Sunday into Monday morning, we could see teens for El Paso, Las Cruces and even single digits, the coldest temperatures we've seen so far this season. So it's gonna be very cold. Even Tuesday morning, we'll be tracking 20s around town. Once it gets that cold, could see some issues. Make sure you wrap your, your pipes because at 19 degrees, that's when we start to see some pipes burst. So just keep that in mind. You have ample time to prepare for this. We're warm through Friday, about 10 degrees cooler on Saturday and windy. There's that rain snow mix on Valentine's Day through President's Day, and it's gonna be cold, only 42 degrees on President's Day. We're in the 50s, windy on Tuesday with a slight chance for rain through Wednesday.